Kittle is a great resource for making print-on-demand designs, and you'll notice in this design here, we've got a bluish purple on the right, and we've got reddish orange on the left. And I'm gonna show you how to do this in Kittle. There's a few different ways you can do it. Let's jump in. As we get going here in Kittle, I just wanna point out that Kittle's got a ton of templates and awesome elements where you can create some really cool print-on-demand designs or even designs for social media or all sorts of different crafting projects. I'm gonna put a link to Kittle in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you click on the link and you order the Kittle subscription, I would receive a small commission. I think Kittle's a really, really cool resource. And these templates are really easy to use. You just click and move things around and you can make really cool designs really, really quickly. Okay, let's get into gradient colors here. So in Kittle, I'm gonna click on new project on the top right. From here, I'm gonna to get to choose my artboard size. I'm gonna to go to my POD presets and I'm just gonna use a Merch by Amazon template to start, but it doesn't really matter for the purposes of this walkthrough. So here is my big artboard and I'm just gonna click on the little magnifying glass down below and I can make it smaller and I can actually drag this to center it now. This is actually a really nice feature. So now I've got the background, I'm gonna select the background my artboard size is gonna come over here and you'll see the background color is listed on the right hand side. When I click on the little white, I can change the background color now to red or I could make it blue just like that. Pretty easy to do. But there's actually a way that you can make this a gradient color as well. Right here where it says solid color, you can select it and you can go to gradient. And now what'll happen is you'll have two spots on the left is blue and on the right, when I click the black, I could change it to red for example. So you click the left and you could change it to whatever color you like. Click the right and you can change it to whatever color you like. There's also a little angle right here. Right now it's set to negative 90 degrees. If I were to change that to positive 90 degrees, you'll see that it flips it. So it's just a rotational thing. Next up, let's take a look at elements. So here I've got my template on the left-hand side. I'm gonna click on elements. And then from here, I've got a whole bunch of different elements you can use. I'm gonna pick a complex shape here to start. This one here is a really nice one. I'm gonna make it nice and big so you can see it. And then it's very similar to the backgrounds. Over here, there's an object color on the right-hand side. I'm gonna click on it and I can change this color Color to whatever I want. I can make it red, I can make it purple, but here with solid color, I can change it to gradient color. I now have the two options. The second one is black. I can change this now to something dramatically different. So I'd like to show you a really cool effect that you can do here. Uh, it's kind of neat and involves a background as well. So here I've got pink at the top, green at the bottom. Now when I select my background, so I'm going to go up to layers and I'm going to open this up and I'm gonna select the background. Okay, so the background's now selected. When I select the background color, I'm gonna select it to be a gradient as well. But here's the trick. I'm gonna go now for the first color. The first color is the white one, but I'm gonna pick the little eyedropper tool and I'm going to now, where the white is at the bottom, I'm gonna select the pink. And then down below, I'm gonna select black. I'm gonna select the little eyedropper tool and I'm gonna select the green. I think that's a really nice effect and right in the middle is kind of mind bendy because we've got green on pink and we've got pink on green. So the eyedropper tool is pretty neat and you can make all sorts of really cool designs like this. You can also use gradient colors in text. So over on the left hand side, I'm gonna click the text option. I'm just gonna click on add headline, which is the very first option at the top. And that's just gonna give me a nice, big, clean black piece of text. I'm gonna close this out. Now when I click on the text option, it gives me an option here for text color. Same idea, solid color becomes gradient color. Now both options are black, so I'm just gonna select the first one, make it red. I'll select the next one here, maybe I'll make it green. And we can see just like that now, we've got a really nice gradient design in the text. Now it doesn't have to be that exact font, you could change the font as well. So using your imagination, you can make pretty nice looking designs very quickly using gradient font. And don't forget when you click on the font, over here there's this A plus effects button. And when you click on that, you can do things like drop shadows. So don't forget about the things like the shading, the line shadow, the block shadow, and the detailed 3D shadow. You can really make your text designs really come to life. Another way you can have some fun with gradient colors is with AI images. So I'm gonna go here to the left-hand side down to Kittle AI. I'm gonna select it. And then here I've got clip art styles, vector styles. I typically use the vector styles for this method. 
So under vector styles, I'm going to click on, say, vintage drawing. And then I'm going to go up here to the top and I'm going to type in Cat Ninja and I'll click generate image. This is especially a clean, crisp looking image here. Now this is black. So in the top right, I'm going to go to object color. Under solid color, I'll change to gradient. You'll see the left and the right are both black. So the left one, I'm going to change it to be red. And the right one, you can leave it as black or you could maybe change it to say a dark blue, for example. I think that looks really nice. Don't forget, especially on the left hand side, you can use textures and then you've also got backgrounds as well. So if you've got different backgrounds, you can really make some cool effects pop up. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using Kittle. Again, I'll put a link to Kittle in the video description below. And here's another video on how you can supercharge your print on demand journey with the powers of Kittle.